Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is gonna be about um, me personally. This is not all homeschool moms, so don't think I'm throwing anybody under the bus. This is me and my top five things that make me that crazy homeschool mom. So the first one is going to be workbooks. Does anybody else have this weakness? Look at this, guys. These are all first grade workbooks. Like seriously, can you see them? It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I have, let's see here. These, I just dropped some too. These are all phonics and spelling. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, 12. 12 first grade phonics and spelling workbooks. And then I have addition and subtraction. And I dropped three of them, but I think there was nine. And if that's not enough, I think I even have three full first grade, like all in one workbooks. Here's what makes me absolutely crazy. First of all, <coughs> excuse me, I have one child, one. So I don't have other kids that are gonna be using these after her. There's nobody to pass them down to. She's only gonna be in first grade once. And let's get even better than that she hates workbooks absolutely hates them we do everything in our power to avoid workbooks so why when i walk into the dollar tree or target do i walk straight over look through them and then buy more every time and i have now collected this is just first and second grade guys this is just first and second an entire box of first and second grade workbooks the chances are we will never use, but I keep buying them just in case. Why? I have no idea. I can't answer that. No clue. All right. Crazy homeschool mama number two. The collection of stuff. The Dollar Tree, the Target Dollar Spot. All of the art kits or the science kits or the mini erasers or... All of the little things that I think I have to have and cannot live without that are now taking over my entire office and my entire homeschool room. I have enough mini erasers for an entire classroom for an entire year. She could probably use a different themed one every week and we would never run out. I have no clue why I keep buying them. And yet, when I walked into the Target dollar spot the other day, I went straight to the mini erasers and was gonna buy Halloween ones. And then got home and looked and had the exact same Halloween ones from last year. I cannot tell you how many times I have bought something only to get home and realize I already own it and didn't even remember buying it and still hadn't even used it. Anybody else have that problem? Just me? All right, crazy homeschool mama number three, books. And not just buying all the books, because we all buy all the books. I mean, come on, let's be honest. But checking out all the books. All right, guys, this is our personal Halloween stack. Like, we have more than enough Halloween books. Was that good enough? Oh, goodness, no. I just placed a hold for over 50 Halloween books at the library. Does anybody else wipe their library out and order every book on that topic? Like, studying giraffes? We need every giraffe book ever written. Would two or three be good and do the job? Probably. Is that enough? No way. We need them all. We need them all. We must have them all. Because there might be something in one that wasn't in the other. Or I don't know. Who knows why? But we need them all. All of them. All right. Crazy Homeschool Mama number four. Does anybody else have a problem just doing something? So let's just say we're going on a field trip to the post office. We're going to go to the post office at the end of the week and we're going to tour the post, off post office. Like, you know, go through the back room, maybe look in the um, little mail carrier truck. Does anybody else have a problem just doing just that? We have to get every book and we have to watch a video and we need to play mail carrier and have a sensory bin or a dra dramatic play area or... We need to have an entire week of community helpers. Like we have to turn everything into a full blown study. I do anyway. I cannot just let something happen. Last year at Christmas, we went to see the Nutcracker. It was last minute. 
we got tickets for cheap and we went to see the Nutcracker. And we read the book and listened to the story and watched a video because it was an hour and a half away. I managed to cram all of that into an hour and a half drive while going to see the Nutcracker because we needed to do an entire study on the Nutcracker. It wasn't good enough to just go watch it. That wasn't enough. We needed to do everything. We always need to do everything. We need to make sure we do all the things. All right, this is my last crazy homeschool mama confession. Number five. I have done some of the craziest things I have ever done since becoming a homeschool mom. I absolutely loathe, like despise, sorry bugs, but they're not my thing. I absolutely just cannot do bugs at all. But in the two years we have homeschooled, I have done or raised butterflies twice. We did praying mantises last year, which creeped me out because the thought of 200 tiny little praying mantises getting loose in my house gave me the heebie-jeebies. And we also did the rotting log ecosystem last year, which meant I had beetles and roly polies and centipedes or millipedes or whatever, just a whole rotting log full of creepy crawly things. And if that wasn't bad enough, their house was on my kitchen bar. Oh, it was horrible, but it was for the sake of learning. So I endured it and handled it. As I'm filming this video right now, there are five baby chicks in my bathtub. Why? Because we hatched and raised baby chicks. Why not? It's for the sake of learning. That's not crazy at all. We're homeschoolers. All homeschoolers do that, right? Am I only the crazy one? I don't know. Maybe it is just me. Maybe I'm the only crazy homeschool mom out there. But if I'm not, and you have your crazy moments, or you have done something crazy that you would have never considered doing before homeschooling, maybe you don't even know what's crazy. I kind of think most of my things are normal, but to the outside world, they're probably nuts. So let me know down in the comments what your crazy homeschool mama moment has been since you started homeschooling and just let me know I'm not alone. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.